Hi, this is a Yesterday's Moose production, and we're back with Astro's Playroom for PlayStation 5. Let's go now to SSD Speedway! Turbo Trial. This area is fairly straightforward. Not a lot of branching paths. However, the special vehicle, I will say, for this level is a little bit difficult to control. I'll talk about it more once we get there. But during this section of the game, we have a completely separate vehicle. So there's kind of two things that you get to use. First, you have to slingshot yourself out of this, and then you have a hand glider. I wasn't really getting the controls when I first popped into this because it's actually motion controls that operate the hand glider. I don't know why I thought it would be something other than motion controls. Okay, we got this buzz controller, which I guess is used for quiz games. I have at least one PlayStation 1 game that might use it. Okay, I actually have two PlayStation 1 games that might use that controller, now that I think about it. But you can just use a regular controller, so I'm not sure of the point. I guess, hey, if Sony can sell you another peripheral, great! So while I'm making the commentary for this, I already have the next section recorded. So I've already ended the game, and I found out that there's actually some new post-game content that just became available. So I might record myself getting that post-game content. But for now, I'm just going to have this video and then the ending of the game, me using the gotcha machine, and then when Astrobot comes out, my plan is to start recording that. So I'm not sure how the upload schedule will work with all of that. But I figured, hey, maybe I should record myself getting the post-game content since it is available. I did say I was trying to get 100% in this game. The post-game content, by the way, is just hidden bots in all of the areas. And those bots are like related to different PlayStation games, like one of them is from Ape Escape, as far as I know. Not sure what the other ones were. I'm gonna actually have to look up a walkthrough of where they are because since they just came out, I, I have no idea where any of those things are because I haven't played this game since I first got my PlayStation 5. So I think that was... 2020, maybe 2021, something like that. Actually, now that I think it of it uh, time-wise, maybe it wasn't back in 2020, 2021. It's hard to say exactly when I got this. I'm sure I could look in my user settings or something and get an answer to that question. But it doesn't matter so much for this video. New artifact! DualShock 2 controller!
So I was looking online and there's those typical YouTube videos of people saying, hey, things you should know about Astrobot before you buy it. At this point, I'm pretty much locked into buying the game, so I don't see the need to watch those videos. I mean, what are they going to tell me? You really shouldn't buy this game? Cashing caves! Yes, I got the crown. I got 100%. Awesome. So now we have this mini rocket ship. And you have to use the haptic controls. Left analog operates the left thruster. Right analog operates the left... What am I saying? Right can... Uh, right trigger, left trigger. That's what they're called. They operate the different thrusters. And it reminds me of this really old game. I mean, it was a game, but it's also kind of a tech demo called Lunar Lander, where you had to land a module on the moon. And depending, depending on where you landed it, you would get more points. never actually played it in the arcade but at uh, there was this place the science center where they had a copy of it and you would play it there I find getting even thrusters on this ship kind of thing is kind of hard. New artifact. PS2 multi-tap. I guess all of the systems had multi-tap with the exception of PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5. I guess multi-tap was just a PS1, PS2 thing because they had limitations to how many controllers you could have. I'm really glad that USB or sorry, uh, Bluetooth is a thing because I have so many wires going around my room, it's crazy. I got my N64 wired up, my Nintendo Switch, I use a wired controller, not the control the uh, controllers that came with it. Got wires going to my laptop, wires coming from my PS5 for the power. PS2 is wired up. My Wii is wired up. That's a PS2 memory card, by the way. Everything has wires coming from it because I'm the kind of person who leaves their controllers plugged in. The only one I don't use wired controllers for is my PS3. And yes, even my PS5 controller is plugged in at all times because I'm very close to the system, so there's really no point to leaving it disconnected. I also have an additional PS5 controller that's in the box and has never been opened. Because I don't have anyone to play games with me. Also, a lot of my games are one player anyway. So, did I get everything? Deep data space. Yeah, I got the crown, so I got everything. Ooh, zap.
This section, by the way, has a lot of those out of the way places where you have to check to make sure that you get all the puzzle pieces, all the collectibles. Fireworks, oh, and coins. Okay, we got a locked box, but we will be able to open that very soon. Again, the pinwheel is operating entirely on its own. I'm not blowing on the controller to make that happen. I guess the system knows it's muted and just does it automatically. New artifact, PS2 game disc with Eco on the front. Eco bot. So you'll find when you see those explodey guys, you'll want to take them out so that you destroy the environment because there's most likely collectibles there. And now we have this new thing, a Gatling gun. So with this, we'll be able to destroy that box. New artifact, eye toy camera. Okay, we have to get the Gatling gun again. And destroy all robots. I really like this Gatling gun because it has a lot of range. You can get rid of enemies before they even get in your short range of an attack, your melee attack. You know, punching.
Oh, there's another explodey guy. Got some coins. Heads up to future me, getting a lot of coins now would be super helpful. In fact, revisiting stages and getting a lot of coins would also be super useful. I recommend at least 2,000 more. But future me doesn't know this. So future me is going to have to go back and collect a bunch of coins. Orbital obstacle. So I think. Anyways, crown, 100%. This has become inane rambling more than a let's play. But what are let's plays if not the inane ramblings of random YouTubers? And am I a YouTuber given that I only have 500 subscribers? At what point do you become a YouTuber? When you make money from YouTubing? Probably. Watch out for the bombs! Oh no! Go to make sure there's nothing down here. Yeah, probably not. Okay, it doesn't matter so much because I'll just go back to the checkpoint. Oh, something to the right. And just now I've become very efficient with my thrusting capabilities. PS2! I have a slim PS2. In fact, I have two of them, and they're both modded for HD. And prior to that, I had at least two other Slims that... ...stopped working for one reason or another. In fact, I think PlayStation 2 is the system I've owned the most. Because I've had to replace them. Often. Oh, we got a puzzle piece. But it's in a very precarious position. Ooh. That's not good. Okay, at least I got it. Okay, there's something definitely down. Got a penguin. And a bomb. Artifact, okay. Singstar microphone. Can I interact with it for... with the uh, microphone on the, on the controller? which I enabled just to do that. I'll just disable it again. Okay, 
Okay, this section it's a lot better to take it very slowly and just wait for the gusts of wind to stop. Owie! Okay, did I get everything? Yes, looks that way. I know that sound all too well. A few of my PlayStation 2s have a little awkwardness with loading, so I'll hear that a lot because I have to reset them often. New artifact, big Honkin' PS2. I used to have one of those, or two of them actually. The first one I had it modded for games and it just eventually died because I used it also as a Blu-ray player. And then the replacements died many years later for the same reason. Those big PS2's not so sturdy. Collected four key PlayStation artifacts. Congratulate. Wait, what's that sound that's coming from the basement of CPU Plaza? You better go back and do some stuff. Why do I click on that so quickly? Okay, this mural is mostly done. This one still has a bunch of pieces left to get. Okay, the big cube now has the circle and is officially Open! So actually the speed run challenges is another thing. I thought it was speed running levels that I'd already completed, but apparently they're their own separate levels, so I might make a video about that. But this is the end of this video, so thank you very much for watching. This has been a Yesterday's Moose production, and I'll see you next time!